Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Hello. Hello. The task is. Begin yes, to I complete the task. Yes. So the diagnosis of this patient is tetralogy of a water and spell. Put an oxygen mask to the child's face tightly and say loudly 100% oxygen flow 6-8 liters per minute. Uh, put a pillow under the legs and put the legs into the knee chest position. Take a normal saline solution in a soap bottle and attach it to the infusion system. Connect it to the IV line. with injection. I need to squeeze the bottle. Dosage of normal saline solution is 10 ml per kg. Take a drug syringe. And say loudly. I inject propranolol solution 0.25% at uh, dosage 0.1 mg per kg IV slowly. Call an ambulance center to hospitalize the patient into the intensive care, uh, care unit. Ambulance Center, this is a doctor of admission department of Community Hospital, Odessa City, Radisson Street. The patient, boy, 26 days old. Uh, preliminary diagnosis, tetralogy of fallout at spell. Breathing rate, uh, 70. Heart rate, uh, 190. Consciousness preserved. IV line is inserted. The patient received oxygen therapy, the correct position of the body. Uh, a solution of sodium chloride at the dosage 10 ml per kg and solution of propranolol uh, IV. The call is accepted. Wait. Assess the child condition according to the ABCD approach before ambulance arrives. Checking A. Airways. Free. Checking B. Breathing. Breathing rate per minute, breathing rate 50. Breathing efforts, retraction of the chest. Respiratory noise. Saturation. SPO2 95%. C circulation, heart rate per minute. Central pulse, peripheral pulse, capillary filling, color and temperature of the skin to the touch. Checking arterial blood pressure. Circulation is stable. Assessing the neurological status. Uh, conscious, uh, consciousness according to the AVPU scale. The child responds to the voice. The presence of scissors. And level of glucose by glucometer.
There are no seizures and uh, hypothesemia. Assessing E exposure, measuring body temperature, body temperature 36.7, checking skin according to the fresh, clean skin, signs of one minute left, no other symptoms. Thank you, condition is stabilized. Finish the task and move to the next station. Ooh. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Good afternoon. May yes. I begin? Yes, afternoon. Please. Begin to complete the task. Can I start? Yes, you can. Good morning. My uh -huh. name is uh, Irina Vasilina. What is your name? My name is Anna. I will examine you today. Uh, do you mind uh, what I'm going to do? Uh, I will uh, ask to you uh, to analyze the preliminary uh, diagnosis, uh, to write the plan of examination and determine the uh, optimal uh, our treatment tactics. Yes, of course, I agree. Mm, how old are you? I'm 59 years old. Okay, uh, what is your job? I'm a history teacher. How long is your uh, working day? Uh, usually my working day is uh, 8 hours. Uh, okay, uh, tell me please, uh, what is your complaints if you have it? Yeah, I have it. Uh, I'm worried uh, about the feeling of the gravity in my right eye. Um, the periodically blurring of the vision, uh, the lowering of my vision field, uh, greater loss of the vision in the right eye over the two years. Uh, when uh, did you uh, last time I check your uh, visual acuity? About a year ago, I turned to optic. A doctor prescribed me uh, reading glasses plus three day optic. In, into the distance, it was a good di uh, vision of the both eye. Uh, do you have any other complaints? Mm, no, I haven't asked complaints. So, your main complaints are the uh, feeling of the gravity in your right eye, uh, narrowing of the visual fields, uh, blurring of vision, and uh, gradual de uh, decreasing of the visual uh, acuity during the uh, last uh, two years. Yes. Uh, tell me please, um, maybe some of your relatives um, uh, did uh, have uh, some problems with the uh, visual acuity. Yes, my grandma had it. Uh, she always uh, dropping eye drops on the right eye, and she had surgery, but uh, eyesight is didn't recover. Uh, tell please, um, which uh, your blood pressure? Uh, I measure pressure periodically. It's elevated. Okay. Uh, did you ask about uh, problem of elevated uh, blood pressure, uh, doctor? Uh, yes, I asked about it. Uh, doctor prescribed me meds. And uh, do you uh, take uh, regular your uh, prescription? Uh, no, I take it only when uh, pressure is up. Uh, tell me this, uh, have you ever observed uh, any allergic reaction, maybe on food or um, medicine? No, I have nothing. Um, did your family or relatives uh, have uh, some general uh, disease, something like uh, diabetic nephritis or uh, kidney problems? Uh, no. Uh, how, many, how much uh, liquid uh, do you usually um, drink uh, during the day? More like two or three days a day. Uh, do you like uh, salty and spicy food? Uh, yes, I like it. I uh, all time eat. Okay. I need the additional uh, examination of thermoscopy uh, to uh, for the, uh, determine the cause of your uh, visual acuity uh, decrease. Yes, of course, I agree. Okay. Um, can I start my Yes, you can. Can I start? Yes, you can. Uh, I need to take a thermoscopy in my right uh, hand, uh, turn on it. Uh, I, uh, my distance between uh, me and my patients should be uh, 50 centimeters. Uh, I should uh, put uh, the thermoscopy close to my eyes 
and direct the light uh, on the pupil of my patient. When I see the red reflex from the uh, eye uh, bottom through the pupil, uh, I should uh, close to my patient uh, on distance 5 cm and uh, check the eye fundus. Okay. According to the clinical picture of uh, eye fundus of this uh, patient, uh, the uh, optic disc uh, is pale with grey uh, shade. The borders of this disc uh, are clear. Uh, the uh, glaucomatous uh, age uh, excavation, the ratio artery to win uh, is uh, 2 to 3. The macula zone and peripheral part of the retina without, uh, are without uh, any uh, pathological changes. So, the diagnosis of this patient is a primary glaucoma of right eye. The patient needs uh, urgent hospitalization to the ophthalmological hospital uh, for the uh, inspection of the intraocular uh, pressure. Uh, the first line of treatment of this uh, uh, disease uh, uh, is uh, uh, the analogs of prostaglandins, uh, beta adrenal blockers, uh, inhibitors of the carbohydrates, uh, and alpha adrenalinemetics. One minute left. Uh, I finished. Thank you. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Yes. Begin to complete the task. Okay, I finished uh, my task. Can I stop it and continue next task? Yes, you can. Okay, no, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good morning. My name is Evgen Vasilevich, a doctor, and we are now going to do the investigation for you to determine your symptoms and what problems you have. Are you ready? Yes. Будь ласка, які у вас є скарги зараз? Дуже часто я відчуваю, як щось стискає в горлі, в грудях, запоморочення, головокруження. Нагадайте ваше прізвище, ім'я по батька? Валерій Семенович. Ей, вік? 37 років. Дякую. Опишіть, будь ласка, своє головокруження. Воно постійне або виникає періодично? Раптово. 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 Напад головокружіння та серцебиття, як ви кажете, це частий пульс. Виникає після чогось або без причин? Я не бачу ніякої залежності. Не бачу. Чи є у вас ще якісь неприємні почуття під час нападу головокружіння? Так. Посилюється тривога та виникає страх смерті, як жах такий, що я зараз умру. Яка звичайна тривалість нападу? Десь 30-40 хвилин, може більше, десь до 2 годин, може так, так. Скажіть, будь ласка, напади трапляються частіше в день чи вночі? Лише до вечора. Наслідок чого зникає зазвичай напад? Зникає? Зникає. Після того, як я вип'ю якісь медикаменти, так. Ну які? Хіболу, гідозепам. Лірку пробувати. Вам стає легше? Так. Скажіть, будь ласка, коли напади з'явилися вперше? Десь, може, в рік, півтора року. Була якась причина? Ні, я не пам'ятаю. Може, якийсь стрес на роботі? На роботі так, є стрес. Хронічний стрес, як у всіх, мабуть. Скажіть, будь ласка, у вас є якісь фактори ризику? Що ви маєте на увазі? Я маю на увазі палитими, вживаєте алкоголь. Ну, як всі. 
Ви який вживаєте, може, наркотичні Ні. Ні. речовини? Ні. Може, ви, ви маєте ще якісь захворювання? Ні, немає. Є у вас захворювання серця, чи то подібне залози? Або не знаю, я розгадую. Гіпертонічна хвороба або скрова діабет? Ні. Чи є у вас сім'ї якісь спадкові захворювання, які передаються з поколінню в поколінню? Не знаю, бо такі. О, ну, моя мама вона теж дуже часто скаржила, що в неї теж тривога, теж боялась померти. Я готовий поставити попередній діагноз розвиток вегетативної нервової системи симптата дренального криз. Моїми рекомендаціями є збалансований розпорядок продовж доби, достатньо кількість сну, достатньо фізичне навантаження, прогулянки на відкритому повітрі, виключення паління та вживання алкоголю, помірно та достатній прийом їжі, оволодіння методом психологічного розвантаження, прийом протитривожних препаратів за необхідністю або з профілактичною метою. Приїхати стресові нагрузки. Дякую. Я е, закінчив виконання завдання. Good afternoon. My name is Yevgen Nopliak. I am a doctor. And now I can ask you about your complaints and try to make your uh, diagnosis. Can you give me permission to yeah, sure. take a yeah, yeah, yeah. conversation? Okay. Uh, what, does, uh, what are your complaints? Um, mm, well, you know, like dizziness, very often dizziness, mm -hmm. and like feeling of lump in my throat, and like, and this I, something like that. Mm -hmm. Please describe your dizziness. It is persistent or intermittent, or it is a cure suddenly? No, it's from, from time to time, periods, not all the time. But suddenly or suddenly. persistent? Suddenly, yes. Yeah, suddenly. Suddenly. Okay. Have you experienced dizziness and increased heart rate after something or without any case? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't, any remember, I don't remember any causes, no. Just well, suddenly, in the middle of nothing. Mm -hmm. Do you still have any unpleasant feeling during your vertigo attack? Oh, oh, dizziness? Uh, yeah, like fear of death. You know, like I'm dying right now. It's awful. It's really... Uh, what is the usual duration of attack? Like half an hour, maybe maybe two hours, maybe one hour. From I would say like from 30 minutes to two hours. Uh, when do attacks occur more often during the day or at the night? Evening time. Evening time. Yeah. After what does the attack usually disappear? What are you doing to disappear attack? Oh not from my pills. I what pills? Medicine. What's the name of uh, pines? Mostly. Maybe something else? Uh, maybe curve low, maybe like pretty very mm -hmm. something. Uh, please give me information. When did you experience the attack first time? Mm, maybe one year ago, maybe. Yeah, like one year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any risk factors? Oh, what, what do you mean? Are you smoking? No, no I do. Drink alcohol? Uh, well, occasionally. Maybe you use psychoactive substances? Uh, no, no, thank you. Did you have diagnosis with some disease anymore? Uh, what? Other disease, maybe your diagnosis? No. Heart, uh, mm. thyroid function disorder, arterial hypertension, diabetes, meaning? Nothing I would know about, no. Do you have any heredity disease in your family? Mm. From one generation? I don't know, no, maybe not. Well, my mother. Your relatives? My mother. She has the same complaints as I have. Like, like if it is what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can uh, finish my task and make a uh, diagnosis. This is a uh, disorder of vegetative nervous system, sympathogenal crisis. My recommendations, this is normal schedules of a day, enough uh, sleeping, uh, enough physical training during the day, uh, Walking from the open air, uh, withdrawal of uh, any risk factors, uh, enough uh, meal, and uh, methods of one minute left. Uh, di di disabilities and uh, psychotherapy, and uh, using of uh, anti anxiety uh, medicine. Finish the task Where's and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please 
Go around to the station. Enter yeah, the station. May I come in? Yeah, please. Begin to complete the task. Can I begin to complete the task? Please go ahead. One minute left. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Please welcome. Begin to complete the task. Take the first nomogram, wait for age for boys from 
zero to two years. I take this first ruler and find the weight of this baby. It's five kilograms. I take another ruler and find the age of this baby. It's uh, four months. I put the point and this point is below minus two sigma deviation. I take my checklist, lower minus two sigma deviation and its lack of the weight. I take another nomogram, it lies for age for the boys. I take the ruler and find the length of the baby, it's 60 centimeters. I take another ruler and find the age of this baby is 4 months. I put the point, this point between 0 to minus 2 sigma deviation and it is normal for this age. I take my, I take my checklist. It's normal. I use the formula to calculate body mass index. Body mass index is weight in kilogram laid meters square. Five kilogram divided by 0 0.6 square. I need a calculator to obtain my result. One minute left. I obtained 13.888. In this case, I need to draw to do the hundreds. 13.89 I use result of body mass index and I need another nomogram body mass index for boys I use result of body mass index I take the ruler I take another ruler and find 4 months age of this baby and put point. This point, be, uh, this point is below minus two sigma deviation, and it is exhausted. Lower minus two sigma deviation, and it is exhausted. So, on the basis of the obtained result of assessment of physical development of this baby. I conclude there is protein energy insufficiency due to pneumonia. Finish the task and move to the next I station. Finished. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the Hello, station. Hello, nice to see you. Good yes, you can. Yes, you can. Thank you. Come in. Give me your road sheet, please. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Please, you can sit and you can prepare. Begin to complete task. the task. Thank you, ma'am. One minute left. Are you ready? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. Please, you can start. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Could I take my road sheet? Yes, Finish the task and move to the sheet. next station. Have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Beginning of the exam. Please, go around to the station. Enter the station. Welcome, 
enter through the glass? Yes. Begin to complete the task. I'm ready. Good afternoon. I'm a surgeon. My name is Maxim Viktorovich. What is your name? Uh, my name is Ulyana. Ulyana. Uh, what are your complaints? Uh, I have uh, stomach pain and uh, raise uh, in the temperature to 38 degrees. Uh, say please, uh, when did the pain start? Uh, it started uh, to tomorrow morning. Uh, did the pain change uh, for a day? Uh, yes, it started at uh, abdominal area and then moved in the uh, right lower part uh, of abdominal and uh, become more intense. Okay, uh, do you have noisy or vomiting? Uh, yes, I have one time vomiting in the morning. Uliana, say please, uh, do you have any urinal problems or bowel problems? Uh, yes, I have uh, dietary problems. Uh, have you ever had uh, any abdominal pain before this situation? Uh, no, never before. Okay, Uliana, now I have to examine you. Uh, please uh, turn off your t-shirt and lie down. For the physical examination, I need to wear rubber gloves. Perform the physical examination. Liana, please show me your tongue. We see the tongue is covered. Liana, please show me your tongue. We see the tongue is uh, dry and covered. Then do a superficial palpation. Uliana, say if you feel some pain. Okay. Do you feel pain? No. Do you feel pain? No. Do you feel pain? No. Do you feel pain? Yes. Yes. Uh, I palpate uh, that the abdomen is tense uh, and sharp, painful in the right lower part of the abdomen. Uh, they check. The, the other symptoms. Uh, check symptom of Schottkin Bloomberg, the symptom of peritoneal irritation. Push the abdominal wall and then remove quickly your hand. The patient can feel or doesn't uh, feel pain. Do you feel pain? No. And no. now? No. Do you feel pain? Yes, a little. A little. Do you feel pain? Yes. Yes. The patient feel pain in the right lower part. We say that uh, schottkin Bloomberg symptom is positive. Then check uh, the Rosing symptom. <coughs> Push the abdominal wall in the left uh, lower part. The patient feels the pain in the right lower part of the abdominal. Ulana, say me please, do you feel pain? Yes, I feel pain in the right part of the abdominal area. In this area, yes? Yes. yes. We say that uh, the uh, rosing symptom is positive. Then check uh, the Sitkovsky symptom. Ulana, pl please turn on the left side. The patient feel <coughs> uh, the pain in the right lower part of the abdomen when she turns on the left side. Liana, do you feel pain? Uh, yeah, it hurts the right abdominal area. Please show me. When the patient turns on the left side, uh, she can feel the pain in the lower abdominal, uh, right lower part of the abdomen. Liana, do you feel pain? Yes, I feel pain there. In this area, yes? Yes. yes. Okay. We say that uh, the symptom of Sitkovsky is positive. Then check uh, Pasternatsky symptom. We knock by uh, fist in this area. And the patient, the patient can feel or doesn't feel pain. Brianna, can you, uh, do you feel pain? No. No. And in this area? Uh, no. No. And this? No. A, a little, maybe. A little. Uh, the patient doesn't feel pain. 
The probable diagnosis is an acute appendicitis. It requires an operative treatment, appendectomy. Uh, we need to differentiate this disease from uh, other acute disease, disease such as acute cholecystitis, gastritis, the ulcer disease of stomach and duodenal, peritonitis, and gynecology problems such as uh, ovarian apoptosis. One minute left. Uh, I finish my task. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. May I come in, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. My name is sir. Thank you. Can I start reading, sir? Yes, yes. Begin to complete the task. So, can I proceed, sir? Please. Thank you. Is complete. I'm removing the electrodes one by one from the chest and from the extremities. The patient is clean, ready to go, sir. Next task is establishing a diagnosis of the underlying disease. The final diagnosis is ischemic heart disease, myocardial infarction of the posterior heart wall, uh, and actually ac acute phase, acute phase infarction. Plan of laboratory tests here. The laboratory tests uh, confirming the supposed diagnosis are troponin and tropomyosin levels, plasma levels, uh, evaluation. Elevated plasma levels of the above-mentioned enzymes uh, point to acute myocardial infarction. Now, the plan of treatment and identification of drugs required for treatment of these diseases. First of all, morphine, the narcotic analgesics, to uh, manage the possible cardiogenous shock. Then, anticoagulants and aggregants, and if time is appropriate, if the patient is delivered. Uh, soon after the manifestations of infarction, uh, the thrombolytics or stunting of heart. These um, interventions could possibly manage the most of manifestations of infarction and help to most quick recovery. Also, as a support nitrates and if the clinical um, manifestations demonstrate uh, shock events like um, blood pressure loss, uh, then possibly we should one minute some left means of mm, blood pressure elevation. Direct to finish the task the and move relief. to the next station. Thank you, sir. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. This operation will make in fields. Where the rubber glows. The operation is performed without anesthesia. Begin to complete as the well task without observing aseptic cross due to lack of time. Place the patient on his back with his head bowed and place a roller under the uh, shoulder blades. With your index finger. Feel for the gap between the thyroid and cricoid cartilage. Fix the lines with the first and second fingers of the left hand. Make a transverse incision up to 2 cm long while dissecting the skin and conical ligament with the right hand. Insert the tracheal dil dilator kilar mirror in the direction of the key of the trachea. Insert the tracheotomy intubation or any hollow tube through the incision into the lumen of the larynx. One Remove minute the left. Fix the 
you. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. Then uh, take uh, with uh, uh, tweezers, step 4 cm and uh, with anterior rhinoscopy uh, put into the nasal cavity to the posterior wall. Then, then put, uh, put a material... Uh, uh, at first I wash uh, the tampon with ointment or oil. Then with uh, anterior rhinoscopy, I put inside the gauze to the posterior wall. Then put a gauze uh, vertically to the up and down. Up and down. And filling the nasal cavity, the tampon might be then I have to do uh, pharyngoscopy to exclude bleed, uh, blood uh, flowing uh, along the wall. After this, I put on uh, sling, uh, sling on the nose. The procedure is finished. Thank you very much. Don't give your sheet. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. With anterior uh, rhinoscopy, we insert gas into the uh, cavity, nasal cavity, to the uh, posterior parts of the cavity. Then we change position vertically and go up, then down. One minute then left. Up, then down. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. Treat three times with a solution of rosaline in the ratio of 1 to 5,000 uh, or an equal solution of chlorhexidine, the skin and mucous membrane around the opening of the restaurant. An equal solution of chlorhexidine. One, two, three. Treat the sterile catheter with sterile vaseline with tweezers. Take the catheter with tweezers for 4-5 cm from the cystic end and insert it slowly to the restroom.
introduce cyanide through the other channel to fix the polyase catheter. Introduce cyanide. Make sure that the catheter is fixed. Attach the catheter to the rhino. One minute left. I finish my task. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. May I start? Yes. Okay. Uh, according to the radiograph, we can see uh, there are multiple lucencies in the uh, left hemithorax with mediastinal shift to the right. There is no stomach bubble in a proper position and lack of intestinal gas in the peritoneal cavity. This picture is consistent with uh, congenital diaphragmatic hernia as well as the uh, task itself. Uh, according to the task, we need to transport this baby to the surgical department. Uh, and before this, we need to stop internal feeding. We should avoid ventilation through the facial mask. Um, as it's noted in the task, the baby has severe respiratory distress, so he will need artificial ventilation through the endotracheal tube. Uh, considering that we stop internal feeding, we need to start maintaining fluid, which for this baby is approximately 5 milliliters of uh, crystalloids per hour. Uh, we also need to make a decompression of GAT with nasogastric tube as well as rectal tube. Um, um, as always, for all neonates transportation, we need to maintain also body temperature. That means we need to transport this baby in special incubator. Um, in addition to this, we need to make um, all medical documents as well as informative concern for further surgical treatment for this baby from his parents. Uh, in addition to this, all neonates which need in a future surgical repair require an injection of vitamin K 1 milligrams. Um, and uh, during the transportation, this baby will require further monitoring. With a One minute left. I'm finished. Yes. I finished. Thank you. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. out the fluorosis, one kind of diseases. Uh, why fluorosis? Because uh, uh, by uh, estimation of kind of uh, laboratory analysis we can find out absolute normal except fluoride, right? Because um, 
in this uh, uh, laboratory research uh, things we can find out less than normal uh, saturation okay so by uh, this task uh, uh, answering the first uh, question uh, what has uh, what has been a uh, cause of this pathology uh, less concentration of fluorine uh, so and uh, I think and I uh, suspect one uh, uh, pathology like a carriers can be because uh, in this area in one of Frankivsk region uh, actually this um, mm, I'm sorry, one moment, one moment, endemic zone of carriers. So, coast carriers, it's less concentration of fluorine in the water. So, by this trouble, we must to estimate uh, quality of water and plus uh, laboratory analysis together. So, uh, that's all. Uh, what about laboratory analysis? Uh, absolute uh, normal except fluorine. So, the deficiency of fluorine uh, show us uh, uh, cause of uh, carriers. What's That's normal fluorine? Uh, normal? Uh, point, uh, uh, 0.5. May I answer? Yes, please. So, according to the first uh, question, uh, what has been cause of uh, uh, this pathology? Uh, according to that, we can find out trouble of uh, the uh, water. So, less concentration of um, fluoride in the water can be caused by of carriers. So, that's the point. So, what about second uh, question? What need to estimate laboratory analysis? So, we can find out the transparency. It's okay. It's in border of normal. Smell, uh, organ leptic analysis, normal. Try reduce, same normal. Fluorides, normal. Nitrates, same normal. Fluoride, unfortunately, not well because must to be 0.5 less order. Call the titer normal and total TMN, total microbic number, same normal. So I think that's all. One minute left. Uh, so that's all. Um, can I take my list? Yes, please. Okay, thank you. Finish the task and move to the right. next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Sir, uh, sir. May I come in? Sure. Okay. Here is my own sheet, please. Okay. May I check the other signal? Begin to complete the task. May I start the completion of the task? Sure. Let's see. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? What's happened, sir? What's happened with you? Can you hear me? Colleagues, we got the situation here. Here is the cardiac arrest. Please, come and help me. Checking the breathing. Checking the pulse, no breathing, no pulse, we're starting the CPR, starting the compressions.
Checking again, breathing, circulation. Breathing the circulation is absent, please. Uh, nurse, give to the patient one milligram of epinephrine intravenously. Please give me the results of the ECG. Do we have the results of the ECG? Please. Thank you. Here we got the acetone. So we got the flat line on the ECG. So we continue with the CPR. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Uh, come in, please. Sit down, please. Begin to complete the task. Can you give me the data of State Committee of uh, Diseases? Please. find primary incidents in 2017 and find major non-epidemic diseases. Neoplasm, three hundred sixty-six cases. Uh, diseases uh, of cardiovascular system, one thousand seven hundred eighty-one cases. and traumas and poisoning. One thousand six hundred and traumas, one thousand six hundred ninety seven cases. Then we need to compare with percents. Neoplasm 1%. Cardiovascular diseases, 7%. And traumas and poisoning, 6%. Make the sum. and find the part of other pathologies. And make the pie chart. Cardiovascular diseases, 7%.
trauma and poisoning 6% and neoplasm 1% and we can make the conclusion that the part of major non-epidemic diseases in the structure of primary incidence um, is 14%. Uh, other pathologies, 86%. Part of cardiovascular diseases is 7%. Part One of minute left. 6%. And part of neoplasm is 1%. Thank you. Task is complete. Finish the task and move to the next station. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. Ma'am, could you start performing my practical skill? Yes. Thank you. So my practical skills, what about that? Practical practical skills that you can choose by structure is called examination, a structural examination or the terrain service. So first I need to read the patient verbally and politely. Hello madam, my name is Dr. Andrew. I will examine you now. Then I need to confirm patient details. What's your name, ma'am? Thank you. How old are you? I got you, thank you, ma'am. Then I need to inform the patient about the importance of medical examination. This medical examination is needed to you to confirm your uh, diagnosis. So we need to proceed more. Then I need to uh, provide a detailed examination, uh, explanation of the examination. So now I will examine you with a speculum as a gynecological glass, it's a gynecological instrument that is strictly need to provide a correct procedure. It could be a little discomfort there, but I hope it will be without problems. Then I need to get verbal consent from the patient. Ma'am, do you agree with the, uh, with, uh, uh, the, with the procedure? Yeah, sure, thank you, ma'am. After I get verbal cotton from the patient, I need to wash my hands and wear sterile gloves. After that, I'm sterilized, I need to get the special sample uh, that is marked with U, C, and V letters. U means urethra, C means cervix, and V means vagina. To the moment that I took a slide that is marked, I need to take a bacterial sample from the urethra. For this purpose, I talk will take Volkmann's spoon, open the labia manuela de minora, find the urethra, and take a sample, putting the volcano spoon for one and a half, two centimeters into the urethra, then scrub it and put the material on the slide where it's marked with you, urethra. After that, I need to take speculum of Cusco in my dominant hand. With opposite hand, I need to open labia minora, labia minora, then carefully, gently put the mirror, gynecological mirror into the vagina, rotate to 90 degrees, and then carefully open. Then I'm closing the lock on the spell. Here are the is. The main purpose of this procedure is to visualize the vaginal part of the surface. Now it's visualized. After it's visualized, I can provide the examination of the vaginal mucosa. At first, I need to get the color and condition of the vaginal mucosa. In this patient, I cannot find any signs of hypermia of or death. Then, I need to check the vaginal discharge. Here, vaginal discharge is physiological. 
than the cervical shape. In this patient, her cervix has a conical shape. Yeah. Then I need to understand the shape of the external pause. In this patient, external pause is round. And also, I need to understand the length of the vaginal portion of the cervix of the uterus. In this patient, it's around 2.53 cm in length. Then I need to understand the mean discharge of the cervix. It could be mucus or bladder. In this patient, it is mucus. After I finish with the examination, I could proceed with taking the bacteriscopic smear from the cervix. For this purpose, I need to get cotton swab to get out the excessive amount of the cervical mucus. I took it. Then, I need to take footman spoon with the opposite side that I took from the urethra, put it into the cervical canal, and take a mound of cervical mucosa. Then, I will put on the slide that is marked with letter C, service. After that, I need to get Earl's spatula or Earl's stick and take the material from the posterior side of the vagina. I took it and I'm putting it on letter V. That means vagina. I put that aside. So, with this, I finished taking bacterial cell. After that, I need to gently remove the speculum. At first, I'm unlocking the speculum 90 degrees, then a little bit closing it inside, and rotatingly, I'm creating the speculum and closing it fully outside. So, the procedure in this moment is finished. After that, I need to tell the patient about the results of the investigation. I am telling what I found, I tell my suggestions about the diagnosis, I'm thanking the patient about the procedure. So thank you very much, Ben. Uh, I'm happy to see you again without problems. After that, one I minute left. My gloves and wash my hands. The procedure is finished. Thank you very much. Procedure is finished. Thank you very much. Appreciate your Finish the task Thank and you. move to the bye next bye. station. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. I am ready to answer the questions. First question, formulate the preliminary diagnosis of the patient. Preliminary diagnosis is tropical malaria. Assign the necessary non-specific and specific studies. To non-specific studies belongs CBC, to specific studies belongs sick smear and sick, thin smear, sick drop and to assign the necessary non-specific and specific studies. To non-specific studies belongs CBC, to specific studies belongs thick drop and thin smear. Determine the need for hospitalization of the patient and main treatment. A uh, patient should be hospitalized in infectious hospital and should be treated with using of anti-malaria drugs, for example, Delagil. Name the method of specific prevention is duration. For specific duration of malaria, we use anti-malaria drugs. Recommendation for this using one week before traveling to a endemic area for malaria, all period of staying in the endemic area and one week. One minute the left. Area. Okay, I'm finished. Finish the task and move to the next station. Okay. 
beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Begin to complete the task. One minute left. My answer is finished. It is over. Finish the task okay. and move to the next station. Goodbye. Beginning of the exam. Please go around to the station. Enter the station. Hello. May I come in? Yes. Um, here is my road sheet. Thank you. Please read your Begin task. to complete the task. Permissible concentration of dust is uh, exceeded uh, 70 times, which corresponded uh, to the fourth class of work. Uh, due to the action of dust, anthracosis develop. Next question. Uh, the main clinical syndromes are chronic bronchitis and uh, pulmonary failure. On the X-ray. Uh, we can uh, see nodular um, pneumofibrosis, 1 to uh, degrees. On spirography, um, we can uh, see uh, pulmonary failure first uh, stage. And um, on, the, um, uh, on 
about the laboratory research uh, with detect reti reticulocytosis and um, uh, and uh, could I start answering the, uh, on the task? Yes. Um, first question. The leading harmful factor is a cold dust. The maximum permissible concentration of dust is exceeded 65-70 times, which corresponds to the uh, fourth class of work. Due to the action of dust, anthracosis developed. Next question. Uh, the main clinical syndrome are chronic bronchitis and pulmonary fracture. On the X-ray, uh, nodular pneumofibrosis, first, uh, second degrees. On spirography, pulmonary insufficiency, first stage. The degree of pulmonary insufficiency is slightly lower than the degree of pneumofibrosis, which is observed with uh, anthracosis and uh, is atypical for other pneumoconiosis. Nodular pneumofibrosis and coal dust in sputum testify uh, to occupational disease. Compensatory erythrocytosis and uh, electrocardiography changes indicate the chronic nature of the process. And third question. Um, Clinical diagnosis is uh, anthracosis second stage, nodular form, SP21, uh, complicated by chronic obstructive pulmonary disease in acute phase. One um, minute left. This is the first stage. This is it. Finish the task yes. and move to the next station. Bye. Bye.